Welcome to the learning resource on setting up stationery and bookshop as a small business. In this lecture, you will get information on some of the important steps to set up stationery and bookshop. This presentation outlines how to open the business of stationery and bookshop and how to become an entrepreneur. Stationery and bookshop is one of the biggest sector witnessing tremendous transformation. Stationery and bookshop is seen as the final step in the distribution of stationery and book products for the consumption of end users. Therefore, it includes all the activities involved in the marketing of goods and services directly to the customer. The purpose of stationery and bookshop is to sell goods and services to the end user for their use. Stationery and bookshop is now not the same as in the past. Stationery and bookshop business is undergoing rapid transformation in its marketing practices. With the changing needs and wants of the customer, the growth of this business is inevitable and promising, fast-paced and exciting career option. The stationery and bookshop owner runs a retail point of sales setup which is so designed to attract good number of walking customers. Generally, these stores have very good merchandise display. These displays help to attract more and more customers. To set up stationery and bookshop, some of the important steps required by the entrepreneur are highlighted below. Preparing of the business plan. This is the first step to start any venture. For starting up the business, the first important step that is required is the preparation of business plan. This is basically a planning activity which is done in the initial phase. A business plan helps the entrepreneur in arranging resources required as per the need of the new business. The owner writes the thoughts and the ideas on paper, document various aspects of this business and make a plan. When the business plan for stationery and bookshop is prepared, it gives you clarity and also highlights the key challenges that you may face in the future while setting up the business. This plan also helps you to convince the financing organization and hence would facilitate the raising of the capital as required for the business. The business plan would include the summary of business financial and general details, facilities and services provision, market survey, list of existing businesses of similar types, marketing strategy, existing resource list, expense estimates and other details. Once you are through with the business plan, the next important step is to select the location of the store. The place or the location where the entrepreneur wants to set up the stationery or bookshop is very important. In this business, if you want to earn higher profits, then locations near to schools and colleges are highly advantageous. A busy market area with parking is also best suited for this business. The location is the main attribute for your stationery and bookshop business. Keep in mind that the store should be highly visible and easily accessible. While you select the location of your store, it is better to conduct a survey of the nearby areas before selecting a final location. 
it is to be remembered that a bad location of this business can hamper the profitability of this business the location selection criteria is that it should be convenient and affordable the owner can also take space on rent to start this business initially depending upon the investment the store area can be selected the next step is to name the store you the owner need to select the name of your stationery and bookshop this name would help you to market and promote your store sizing of your stationery and bookshop depending upon the investment the sizing of the store can be done when we talk about sizing the store it means that what is the amount of inventory of the stationery items and books available in your store according to the size of the shop the inventory of books and stationery item can be kept the role of shop owner is to provide the products that customer needs in required quantity at required place and at right time this creates a real added value or utility to the customer there are many perspective to this aspect the first factor is that the product or the items that you are keeping in your shop are acceptable to the customer the second is the time factor which means that the store or the shop should be open as per the customer requirement third factor is that it should be at a convenient location which is called as a place factor and the next factor is the ownership factor which relates to the product when it is sold there are many services that the shop owner can offer to the customers the shop owner to supply the stationery and books item in small quantities to the customer at a reasonable price the shop owner needs to consider that there are good relations courtesy attentiveness and honesty when dealing with the customer the shop owner need to anticipate the customer demands and make available such stocks the shop owner should also guide the customer in buying and providing necessary information the shop owner should also provide a replacement facility for any damages the shop owner should also display and demonstrate the stationery and book items to the customer the shop owner can also offer credit facility to regular and reliable customers there are certain essential requirements for this business as we have discussed earlier that the shop should be established in a place where customers are attracted more the stock of the goods which are needed by the customers are maintained the shop owner also needs to compete in price and quality of goods to be sold the shop owner should be cautious for overstocking and understocking the shop owner should update with trends in the market and its position shop owner to ensure window display and counter display to promote sales shop owner should always be accessible to the customer so in this presentation basic steps for setting up the stationery and bookstore were covered the role and responsibility of the shop owner was also touched thank you